Imagine a world that's so small, so intricate, that it's invisible to the naked eye. Imagine that in this world, there's a code, a blueprint, like the blueprint that's made by architects to give plans for designing a magnificent building. But this blueprint, it isn't for a regular building. It's for a masterpiece. This blueprint is weaved into every living being, guiding its growth, its structure, and its function. This world that you imagined is the fascinating world of genetics. You see, our planet is full of life, from the tallest giraffe in the African savanna to the tiniest bacteria in your backyard. And yep, even you and me, we're all unique, but we're all bound together by a common thread. And that thread is DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is a molecule that carries the genetic instructions for the development, the functioning, the growth, and reproduction of all known living organisms and even many viruses. I'm talking about your eye color, your skin color, the stripes on a zebra, the shape of the leaves on a tree. DNA is like a master architect that designs and guides the building of life. To explore this field, we have to take a journey back in time. Back to the 19th century to the humble garden of an Austrian monk whose name was Gregor Mendel. Mendel was really curious about how traits were passed down through generations. And to understand this better, he spent years studying pea plants. What he noticed was that certain traits, like the color of the peas, uh, they seemed to disappear in one generation, but then they'd almost spontaneously reappear in the next generation. This seems strange, especially when considering the belief at the time. You see, back then, they believed that traits were simply blended from parents to offspring. So it just didn't make sense. Mendel continued studying the pea plants. Uh, he did some very detailed and fascinating experiments and kept very clear and detailed records. And the work he did, it laid the foundation of our current understanding of heredity, how traits are passed from parents to offspring. It's why we call him the father of genetics. Today we know that genes, which are segments of DNA, are the basic physical and functional units of heredity. We also know that genes consist of different combinations of four chemical bases. They're like a coded recipe or instruction manual for making living things. Just as different recipes result in different dishes, different genes lead to different traits. Over the next few videos, we're gonna dive deeper into the world of genetics. We're gonna unravel the secrets of DNA, genes, chromosomes, how traits are passed from parents to offspring, and a whole lot more. So buckle up, future geneticists. Our journey into the heart of life's blueprint is just beginning. My name is Leslie Samuel from Interactive Biology, where we're making biology fun. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.